think the first thing that draws me in with Jones Master Annie is the title. The 30 hour reboot. It really piqued my interest. I always think that in terms of first impression, it's the most amazing thing. And for a public speaker, the title, the more interesting the title, the more curious you can cause the audience. So I was really, really curious. And she does not fail to impress the moment she stepped on stage. She immediately went, here are the list of the countries that I have traveled. Do you remember what she said? U.S. and Mexico. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> but she subverted expectation immediately by telling us, I'm not going to tell you any story about where she goes. She continued immediately to tell the story of her final trip. Where does she fly to? From and to? Uh, Paris to Ho Chi Paris to Ho Chi Minh City. Paris to Ho Chi Minh City, yes. And it goes to show that her talent as a natural person to hook us in from the very beginning. The whole introduction caused us to continue to be curious. And she went through her story, each part, telling her experience, stopping Dubai for 30 hours. as something unexpected. And she came and she gave us with three wonderful, powerful message. And that was, one, no one cares. Number two, ask for, ask for help. And number three, DP time is important. <laughs> <laughs> no, but all of that speech is really well done. And she engaged with us, tried us to remember. And she is a wonderful performer. She could have been a sitcom actor even. And we would just sit there and laugh and enjoy because number one, she had great body language. She's always been an active person who always jumps around, flicks her hair if she has to. She does not care where her hands and fingers go. She's still going to do it. And that is what was making wonderful about her. And also her, her humor. She knows when to make us laugh, know when to say that. Like, I don't have any cash in my hand. I do have credit card though. <laughs> <laughs> and throughout the story, she made it show that she is a really, really experienced storyteller. I don't have much to offer for Tosan Stahani to but I do have a few things. One thing is she can repeat the message she learned before transitioning to the next one. It's just a way to keep our memory a little fresh and to have a transitional point instead of just one, two, and three. Number two, I would like to call a, a, a part of vocal variety, which is vocal role play. Adding a little bit of role play with your voice can make it a little bit more powerful. For like, <laughs> there are many ways we can play with our voice to make the speech even more colorful. But to challenge you, Dr. Sahani, take it from the word of Chris and how you start. Start with 30 hour reboot. I'd like to hear more about how that affects you and how that 30 hour reboot is meaningful. So find a way to tie everything together to make a beautiful circle of a wonderful story. Thank you.